Hi, and welcome back to Numica's Life Hack series. My name is Paresh Salecha, and in this video, I will be talking about design choices and automation with Omnis. So let us jump right in. In my previous life hack video, I demonstrated a mesh generation workflow with Omnis where we had a simple cube and one car. Let me introduce to you design choices. Now this is very handy when you have multiple designs but you always want a single workflow. So for this video, as you can see on the screen, we will take three design choices, nothing but estate pack, fast pack and notch pack. And now I will show you how you can define this in Omnis. On the right hand side, we have a CAD tree where we can see a list of all the imported CAD geometries. And on the left hand side, we have a family tree. Now this is linked to the bottom half. Let me quickly show you the three different design choices that are already linked to the family tree. So by default, you see the estate pack. And now we have the fast pack and now the notch pack. Now let us create a domain containing all these design choices. So I switch to domain. To create a new domain in the pie menu, I click create and then here I can choose what all CAD geometries or family trees are needed for my CFD domain. Since I already have a family tree that contains everything, I will be selecting this. If not, you can select the CAD geometries. I will now hide the external domain so that we can see the car clearly. And there we have our car. By default, there is only one design choice, but one domain can have multiple design choices. So how to create that? In the pie menu here, I click on edit design choices, and then you can see that the tree has now changed and you have a set of check boxes. And there is one design choice called choice one. So I will rename it to estate pack. And now our task is to remove all the assemblies that we do not need for this design choice. And that is to uncheck fast back and notch back. You can also see that everything in the tree is unchecked. And now we will duplicate this and I create a fast back. And now I will only add fast back to it. And finally, the last one. And now to toggle between them, please note the difference. This is estate back, this is fast back, and this is notch back. Therefore, in this manner, you can create multiple design choices and then select or deselect the assemblies that you need or that you do not need. Let us now create a mesh setup. So I switch to mesh and here I define a mesh setup. I will rename this to estate pack and I add my complete domain to it. So this by default contains all the design choices. You can see the car here clearly. Now to switch between design choices, we expand the tree and here at the bottom under choices, I click estate back and you can see that the car has now changed. So to do this for the different design choices, I simply duplicate my mess setup and I rename them. And now I select a respective design choices. This is fast pack. And then the last one is notch pack. Therefore, we now have different design choices created as well as their mesh setups are created. Now we can start the mesh generation. Let us now move on further to a much more interesting topic that is automation with Omnis. In Omnis, you can switch any time between geometry, domain, mesh, simulation, and result analysis. This can also be done using Python. Python API means nothing but that you can now write scripts to completely automate your workflow beginning from geometry 
up to result analysis. Let me demonstrate to you how. In this life hack, I will be restricting the topic up to mesh generation. On the left hand side, I have a text editor where I have written a simple Python script. I will walk you through it. But before that, let me show you where you can find all the necessary commands. So simply open the user guide or click here. And this will take you to the Omnis documentation platform. And here we have Python script. Here you can find all the necessary information. For example, the packages, the classes, the files or the file list, etc. So first, we import all the necessary modules, then define the paths, choose the template that you want to use, and then now we begin with the geometry. So first step is to import all the necessary CAD geometries, for example, the body, the estate pack, fast pack, etc. And then we can create further objects, for example, a refinement cylinder or the external domain, and then retriangulate the geometry. Now, since I'm using family tree, now this task or this part is nothing but how we create a family tree. So I'm first creating a set of assemblies and then an assembly boundary and then an assembly for my external domain or a boundary for my external domain. Now we will link the CAD geometry to the family tree. That's here. Now we switch to domain. So the first part would be here that first we create one single domain, define a seed point, define the boundary conditions or boundary types, and then define a first design choice estate pack. And then I duplicate it as I showed you earlier. With, this is fast pack and then notch pack. And now I select individual design choices and delete the assemblies that I don't want. Similarly for the other two design choices. Finally, we switch to mesh. Here, I create a mesh setup using the design choice estate pack. I define the initial cell size, the number of refinements, diffusions, curvature, etc. Viscous layers. And then I duplicate my mesh setup for fast pack and then for notch pack. And here, the last three lines of code, I'm committing this out so that I can show you how the script will execute up to here. To run or play a Python script in Omnis, at the bottom, we have a Python script recorder. I click on this and then here, on the left hand side, we can either create a new record or load a script or save a script. So I click on load script and I go to my Python script file. And once it is loaded, I select it and I activate the bulb icon here. When I activate the bulb icon, it means that I can now play this script. So simply I at the bottom, I click on play all script and this will begin the complete mesh generation process. This is how it goes. The script has now been successfully executed up to the point where the mesh setups are ready to run. Now you have two options, either to start the mesh generation manually or continue using the script. So let me show you how we can do it manually. You select this mesh setup that you want to run and then go to control tab and then here click on resource control. So when you check parallel, you can see a list of machines here. You can enter the number of cores and then click start. The other option is, so in the original script that I ran, the command where I can start the mesh generation was committed out. Now I have the same now activated. So I will play the script and you can see how the mesh generation will start.
now you can see that the mesh generation has started. Once the first mesh is completed, the second will start and so on. And this is how the result will look like. This is the ST8 pack mesh. Now I will show you the fast pack mesh that's here. And finally, the third design choice, notch pack. So therefore, in this manner, you can create multiple design choices and then mesh them completely in an automated way. I will now show you how to do this entire same procedure in batch mode. So for the sake of this demonstration, I will comment out the lines of code where we actually begin the mesh generation. So in my shell, I first go to my installation directory and then I write minus patch minus script and then I give the path to my script file and then I direct it to my patch file and then minus print and then it starts everything in the background and the result of the batch file will look like this and all the mesh setups are now ready to run. Now let us move on to the last topic of this video that is family tree template. Up to now everything what I showed you was complete automation that is right from importing your geometry up to mesh generation. But what if you just want to do part automation that is to already have a predefined template and just relink your new CAD geometry or designs and start the mesh generation. Yes, it's possible and to do that simply first save a custom family tree template and then import or relink your CAD geometry to the respective family tree assembly or boundary. In order to create a empty custom family tree template, you first open your existing mesh setup workflow that is from geometry up to mesh generation or up to simulation and then here in the family tree you can see the green symbols that is that your CAD geometry is now linked to the respective family tree. To create a new design here click on the button link new design. The symbols have now turned red that means that no geometry is linked to it. So then I delete all my CAD geometries and therefore now the template is empty and ready to be saved. So I save the template via here to for example template drive air. This can be visible in the welcome page here. On opening the template it will look something like this. Now let us go through the script. So first we open the custom template. We import all the CAD geometries. We call the family tree entities and then as a last step we link the CAD geometry to the family tree. That is all and now you can start the mesh generation. So let me quickly demonstrate this script to you. The CAD geometries have now been linked to the custom family tree template. And now we just start the mesh generation. So that is all for today. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Please let us know your views via our feedback form. And we look forward to see you in our next video. Thank you and goodbye.